My name is Liam O'Brien. I'm the director of the Air Force Research Lab Maker Hub. So the Maker Hub is a collaborative space on base, open to anybody with base access. We offer a variety of tools, equipment. It's a collaborative space where people can invent, create, repair, do all sorts of things, whether it be work-related or personal projects. It was really exciting when I got to meet Bill and William randomly on a Saturday. He came in, was like, you know, I'd heard about this Enable Hand, and I was like, oh, I have a lot. You know, I've printed off several of these different styles and formats. So I kind of just put two and two together, and we just were able to print off some very successful hands. I put these elastics on and I hammered the joints together and I put these on. Just took it and wouldn't give it back as soon as it was finished. So he's actually been able to pick up things that he never has before. He drank for the first time from his cup in his left hand. It's not like the full functional prosthetic, like a medical grade, but he has the grasping capability. So in a way, it's almost like a new tool that he can use that expands his capabilities. So we're not tr really trying to get into the medical field. That's not really our division out here. We just have access to the tools and capabilities to rapidly prototype and test equipment. A normal prosthetic hand would cost anywhere between ten dollars to $15,000. And with the power of 3D printing and the cost of filament, it only costs us I believe it was $30 in equipment and then less than $5 in plastic. As kids grow, they need new sizes frequently. So we're able to just print the next size up. He's almost ready for the next size now. 